Not what we were expecting on Christmas Eve. It wasn't presents, but a bundle of papers that arrived at the Verge home Christmas Eve. 600 pages of hospital bills. The total is 3.75 million. Christina looks them over in a room she rarely visits. Her husband Jeffrey's studio. They've been inseparable since they were 14 until now. This whole thing just completely knocked our lives upside down. This took patience to create. We first met Jeffrey Varagi in 2018 at the Port Gamble Sklalem Reservation, where he grew up. Yeah, crescents within the ovoids here, I use those. And soaked up inspiration. I say I'm a storyteller. I'm doing the same thing that my ancestors did uh, hundreds of years ago. I'm talking about gods. I'm just doing it with characters that we know and grow up with. The native element is my telling the story. With his fusion of form line and comic book art, a style he calls Salish Geek, Jeffrey had been on a roll, commissioned to create dozens of Marvel covers, to design murals like this one at Seattle's Citizen M Hotel. He even had his art featured by the Smithsonian. Then came Father's Day of 2021. He seemed fine. He had a little bit of a cough. The next day he woke up and was coughing blood. Jeffrey went to the hospital for what he thought was pneumonia. He spent five weeks in an induced coma, woke up and discovered he'd been diagnosed with an especially aggressive form of lupus, an incurable autoimmune disease. We spoke over the phone last summer. You can only deal with it and try to keep it at bay. This is a battle that has taken its toll. Jeffrey today is 75 pounds lighter. He's received both a liver and double kidney transplant, a resident of Swedish Hospital's intensive care unit for more than a year. He's had every kind of setback that you can imagine. He's had a stroke. He's had fluid around his heart. He's had infections in his abdomen. He's had, you know, sepsis. With lupus, the body's immune system attacks its own tissues and organs. Doctors say fighting lupus is a bit like playing whack-a-mole. Each day is a bit of a battle. We approach each day looking to see, okay, where are you now? What can we help you accomplish? And is there something new happening? Jeffrey was awake enough to comfort his kids. He's fighting for his family, who have been helped through these hard times by acts of kindness. For instance, on a night the Kraken played a home game, Climate Pledge Arena invited the Varagis to see for their first time. Wow. A mural Jeffrey designed depicting Seattle's past, present, and future. Breathtaking. It's beautiful. We're all struggling, but we see each other almost every day. Um, we end our day with each other, and it just makes it easier having each other there for support, all, even on the good days and the bad. Coming out of one of his transplant surgeries last year, Jeffrey wrote this note for Christina. It says, I'm Superman. Did Jeffrey ever consider himself a warrior before all of this? I don't think so. But he definitely is. He definitely is. I tell him all the time, he's my real life superhero.